joined now by the star of Oppenheim, Killian Murphy. How are you this evening? Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Good to be here. I mean, Oppenheimer leading the way with nominations. Yeah. What does that mean to you to see this film as a whole across various categories being rewarded in this way? Oh man, we're just uh, thrilled, you know, we're kind of overwhelmed by, by it all. It's an amazing feeling for, for, for all of us, for everyone that works on the movie. And do you personally, obviously, up for a BAFTA yourself for your performance tonight? Any nerves or is it just whatever happens, happens? How are you viewing it? How are you framing it? It's just great to be here and like whatever happens, happens. And we've kind of been doing a few of them now, so mm. getting a bit better at it, I hope. <laughs> a bit more used to it. But it's great, you know, it's, and you get to know people, you get to see the same faces and we got our good crew here. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I want to take you back to the first time you read the script for yeah. Oppenheimer because obviously you've worked with Christopher Nolan previously on other films. Uh -huh. This is clearly the biggest role he'd ever presented to you. Yeah. How did that happen? Where were you? Did you get a whole script? Was it a phone call? Talk me through that moment. Yeah, he, the way he works is he calls me and out of the blue. I never know what that it's coming. And it, well, it's in fact Emma Thomas, his wife, who calls me and his producer. She calls me and then he she passes over the phone. I was at home in Dublin and. Uh, I always immediately say yes, so I just said yes. And then uh, and then I started working and researching, and then about a week later, he flew to Dublin and gave me the script. Okay, and when you read the script, because, yeah. I mean, without wanting to get too technical on the red carpet, the BAFTAs, this is a script that was written in first person. Yes. It's just not a thing I've ever heard done before. I have never encountered it. I'm sure we'll encounter loads of it now after this, but uh, <laughs> no, I'd never encountered it before. So it does, it puts a lot of pressure on you in a, in a great way. It puts a lot of responsibility on you, you know, and you realize that it's a very subjective form of storytelling mm. that he's going to try and um, make happen, you know? Mm. Um, let's talk about Christopher Nolan and working with him. As I said, you've worked with him numerous times. Is yeah. there a palpable difference with a Christopher Nolan set to other film sets you've been on? Talk me through what the atmosphere is like on, on a set of his. Yeah, you're a little spoilt on his sets, I think. You know, it's so focused. Uh, everyone is so prepared. Uh, he's incredible with time because I think time is the most important commodity you have on a film set. Um, and he's amazing t with time management. And he's just incredible with actors, as we know, incredible visual, uh, visually. There's only one camera, one boom op, boom op, and Chris. There's no video village, so it's um, yeah, you're very, very, very spoiled on those sets. And to prepare you for the role of Oppenheimer, am I right in thinking he was sending you? Images of David Bowie. Yeah. One, one, he sent me like apropos of nothing, with no context, <laughs> just like a picture of Bowie in the like Thin White Duke era, uh -huh. and Oppenheimer um, with his big, like, you know, high waisted uh, pleated trousers. And it was about the, uh, the look, but also about how they both kind of constructed their personas, you know? So when it came with absolutely no instructions as to why you were receiving yeah. it, were you just like, Sorry, what? No, I knew. <laughs> I, I kind of knew. I knew what he was talking about. So um, we've worked together for so long. I kind of we kind of have a similar wavelength going on about stuff. Wow! Congratulations on your nomination. And Thanks, but, man. More than anything, have a great night. I will. You too. Thank you, mate. Nice chat. Take care. Take care.